Hey guys, it's Mia Redrick here, the mom strategist. Now I am so excited about the scope today. Now today I'm gonna to be teaching very simply, what are the characteristics of a giant, of being a giant, all right? Of thinking like a giant, or showing up like a giant, I know you wanna know, and I'm gonna break that down for you over the next couple of minutes. I'm Mia Redrick, I'm the mom strategist, and I support clients with both life and business success. I'm a business coach, and you know, I got started in my business. Hey, Colleen, this is going to be a fire scope. I've got eight points that I wanna share with you guys tonight on what are the characteristics, the true characteristics of being a giant, all right? And I'm going to define for you what that's going to look like. I'm Mia Redrick. I'm the mom strategist. I uh, got started my business at least conceptually over 10 years ago. I had this idea. I wanted to go to work as myself. And I wanted to combine my background as a corporate tra trainer and my mom systems into, I want to merge those into one business. And I had no idea how in the world would I do that, right? How would I how would I be able to combine the things that I was really, really good at and be able to support other people in being able to, you know, take what they knew how to do, their education, their gifts, their talent and package and know-how into a product that they could serve the world to give. But I've done exactly that. And I've coached thousands of clients literally all around the world, the girl that had no idea how how in the world this was going to work. Now, I didn't do that by myself. I actually went initially to the Small Business Resource Center in my town uh, to see if I could figure this out and someone can help me. And I was told by that director of that center that my I didn't make any sense. Now, the reason that I'm telling you this is because if you're like me and you're a thought leader, you think outside of the box, you see things that aren't there, right, in terms of, you know, your brand, your genius right? Then likely you've had the exact same experience. You're talking to people about things you want to do and it's very plain to you, but no one else really knows exactly what you're talking about. One of the things that I learned is that you have to keep looking for someone that can see what you see. So I ended up bumping into a coach. Her name is Terry and her model literally changed my life. It was the first time I ever met an entrepreneur that was a full-time entrepreneur working from the comfort of their home, which I loved, and that was able to pick up, take her laptop, and go and work in Mexico November, December, January, and February because she doesn't like winter. And I knew a lot of people that owned businesses, but the fact of the matter is they owned businesses, but they didn't have freedom. They were still trading time for dollars in their businesses. And so I was so enamored to learn everything that I could about this world of coaching. Fast forward, I've been a full-time entrepreneur um, and for over a decade, I love what I get to do. My kids are 19, 15, and 12 years old, and they've never seen mom or dad ever work a job. Hey there, darling, right? Never seen us work a job. And I was, I consider that a tremendous success, right? And I think as a result of growing an amazing business, one of the biggest accomplishments to me is that we've been able to give our kids a world-class education. We've been able to be there and so into that world. My husband and I were just talking about this like a week or two ago, and we're like, we haven't missed anything. We've seen everything that we wanted to see, and like maybe you're that parent. That's, that's what you want. Like you just want to be able to take the pictures when you want to take the pictures. You want to be able to hand out the cupcakes for the birthday parties in the middle of the day. You just want a freedom so you can do the things you want to do to be there for your family. I totally get that. Pat and I were just talking about the fact that that's the lifestyle that he and I have both had. So kids have never seen their parents work jobs, which I think is just so pretty cool. But also I will tell you that, you know, the money is always in the model. And one of the things that I was so grateful for was when my husband developed kidney disease eight years ago, I was able to be there for Pat and my kids, right? Because Dallas is like 15, 18 hours a week. And I didn't have to choose. I could be there. I didn't build my business as a coach and, and speaking all around. I built my business from the comfort of my home. My clients come to me. And if you want to figure out how to be able to build a business that allows more time freedom, you need to keep listening to my scopes. They're going to really support you guys. Hey there, guys. I'm so glad you're here. But um, my husband got a kidney transplant three years ago, and he's doing amazing. Thank you so much for the super heart. He's doing amazing. And, um, and one of the reasons why, I believe, is because we were able to hire for him a private doctor so he could get the best care ever. See, to me, running a great business is not only about the money. Money is a tool that allows you to be there for your family, to give them amazing education, to be able to you know support your family, like 
you know, in our case, we had true medical issues and we were able to show up in a way that a lot of times we wouldn't have been able to do that if I had chosen a different route with my life. And I know that at the end of the day, one of the things most people want are options, right? You just want an option. Maybe you just want to date your husband in the middle of the day, right? I'm into that. Maybe you just want to go to the gym every single day and you want to enter the office, you know, when you want to. Or maybe you just want to do what you want to do, right? That thing that keeps calling you all the time. I totally get that. I often say to my husband, I'm like, I don't think I could have done anything else. I mean, I guess I could have, but I don't know that I could have done anything that would be as fulfilling as what I'm doing right now. All right. It's priceless to have options. All right. So I want to thank you guys for being here today. I'm going to jump right in. Today's topic is um, what are the characteristics of a giant? Now, I need you to do me a favor. Please share. We're going to pack this out tonight on Twitter, of course, on Facebook. And on Periscope, I want to give you guys time to do that on Twitter, on Facebook, and of course on Periscope. Because we already know that there are other people that will benefit from knowing how to show up like a giant. And what are the characteristics that giants all have, all right? Um, I'm going to go in deep on this tonight. I've got eight simple key points that I want to share. And my only goal is to shift you and to move you forward because maybe you are a giant. Okay, maybe, you know what I'm saying, you didn't get the memo. Or maybe you can do more as a giant, right? So I'm just going to break that down for you um, tonight. Um, My goal is to support you in moving forward, all right? If you like my scopes, hit this little guy here on Periscope. That's going to allow you to get notifications so that when I come on, again, you'll instantly get a notification on Periscope. Um, And if you want to stay connected beyond Periscope, one of the things I'm going to recommend that you do is go to miaredrick.com or on Facebook, Mia Redrick, The Mom Strategist, and let's stay connected even beyond there, okay? All right, so I'm going to get started. If you guys are ready, I want you to just write, I'm ready, Mia, and I'm going to get started. Who's ready? Okay, are you guys ready? You want to know the characteristics of a giant. So let me just tell you, my inspiration for this um, scope tonight really came from the fact that, you know, this is something that I'm always talking to my children about. This is something that I'm always talking to my clients about. This is something that I'm always talking to myself about. All right. Thank you. Brandon's ready and Sesha is ready. Colleen is ready. And I do believe you have to be ready to receive. Okay. So, uh, you know, this is one of those things that I believe that deciding to show up in your bigness, to own the things that are really, truly great, to allow you to serve from your overflow, right? Like in the truest sense um, and to show up in your world that way, you know, it's something that's available to every single one of us. But the fact of the matter is a lot of times when you think about how we showed up, how you showed up today, or how we're showing up in our lives, or even in our businesses, or even in our marriages, or in our friendships. Sometimes the way we show up, we're not always bringing our A-game. Most often, we aren't showing up like the giants that we could be, all right? Um, And so I thought, let me just break down for you today some of the characteristics of showing up like a giant. And my only goal in doing that is that If maybe in some way, as a result of hearing what I'm going to say, you'll you'll then say, you know what? I can play a bigger game. You know what I mean? I can show up in my bigness. I can own the things that are true, that are great, that I can, where I can add value to the world. And the reason this is important is because whatever you put out there in the world is literally what comes back to you. You know this, right? So sometimes, you know, people looking for big deals and things like that. The fact of the matter is if you go out there and you serve in huge strategic ways, that's one of the greatest ways to be able to meet amazing people. You never know. And because you are showing up like a giant, you're bringing your A game, you're owning your bigness, you're going to find that people are going to really relate to that part of who you are, that great part of who you are. All right. So number one, the characteristics of, 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 uh, of being a giant, okay, um, is that giants, number one, the first to me, I don't, I can't call it commandment, but the first characteristic of a giant is that giants love being in the company of other giants. So I want to talk about that for a minute. Like, If you are a giant, if you're a person at the top of your game, if you're a person that you celebrate other women and their success, then you love being in the company of other giants. In fact, it inspires you to see other people rise. Even if that means that their rise 
exceeds your own, okay? And one of the things that I think is so important to understand is whether or not you are thinking like a giant or not is when you start thinking about whether or not you can handle being in the company of other people who are doing amazing things, right? Can you do that, all right? And that's, to me, one of the greatest characteristics of a giant is that giants love to celebrate other giants, all right? It actually gets you so fired up and stoked. I always think about this. I'm a part of a couple of mastermind groups. I love it. I love being in the company of other giants. And what's really cool about it, and you'll know you are operating this way because you don't feel like you need to diminish anyone in order for you to rise. You know what I'm saying? So if you're truly a giant, Giants don't ever have to diminish anyone, right? Because a giant is already huge and amazing and they understand that about themselves. And because a giant's, you know what I mean, gifts is not steeped in insecurity, they never ever are concerned about somebody else's, so someone else rising. I just want to break this all the way down, okay? And the fact of the matter is if you find that it's difficult for you, maybe, if you are in the company or maybe you're seeing things that other people are doing and you find it difficult to say yes or maybe you find that it's really easy for you i hope so when you see other people who are doing the things that you want to do or have exceeded what you're doing or they have the things that you want to not covet what they're doing to not copy what they're doing but instead to celebrate that because it's an example of what is possible for you this is to me the characteristics of a giant is that they love being around other giants and you always know whether or not you're around a giant or not the way they respond to a giant the way a person responds to a giant allows you to see whether or not they are a giant all right now we'll tell you give you a couple of examples in my opinion if you are like i think about it this way let me just use my example um my 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 life all right i'll think about my, one of my favorite coaches Ter terry and I think when I think about Terry Levine, she's one of my favorite coaches in the whole world. You know what? As a result, she's a giant, right? I enjoy being around her. I enjoy learning from her. I um, have tremendous respect for her. I have tremendous gratitude for her. And as a result of that, there's not much that she could ever post that would, you know what I'm saying, that for me would be like, I don't know. I mean, I think that Whatever it is that she's sharing, for me, I always feel like it's elevating me, that it's like supporting me on my journey, all right? And even if that would mean that she would be edifying someone, I would still feel like, wow, like that happened, right? In her world, in that world, and as a result of that, it would make it more probable for me that that would be true for me. And if you don't feel like that when you are... You know what I mean? And looking at success and being around other people achieve a significant success. I'm just talking about the characteristics today of what giants look like. Because I think sometimes there's a low vibration that happens sometimes in some communities uh, or even in some thought mindsets. It's like there's only room at the top for like a small number of people. But the reality is that's not really true. Fact of the matter is when you're a giant, you love being around other giants. I mean, when you're at the top of your game, there's nothing like hanging with other people that speak your language and understand exactly what you're doing and you're looking for that right and you treasure that and you relish that right and you're grateful for that really really important the second thing that you got to keep in mind is a characteristic um, for giants is that giants make big moves okay the fact of the matter is what to me separates like a giant from everybody else is that their vision is usually huge right and that their goals are usually huge all right and as a result of that their implementation is also huge and a characteristic of a giant is that they see things often that nobody else sees right they 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 find a problem they fill it all right they go after their dreams sometimes they don't know how they're going to do whatever it is that they want to do but giants okay they make big moves all right they they construct deals they make things that don't already exist happen that's how you know you're dealing with a giant and i wanted to say this because maybe there's some of you out here that you you keep coming up with these ideas that are amazing and awesome you know what i mean and you and and you've got that's your sweet spot like it just come happens to you over and over again it's a giant 
And you got to make sure you're making those big moves, right? To, to really allow those ideas to be out there in the marketplace. You know, conversely, you always know when you're not dealing with a giant because often there's no vision, okay? There's a lot of duplication. You know, it doesn't take any... Um, doesn't take any creativity to duplicate what somebody else is doing. You know, you can create success by that, but you don't create security by that. There's something amazing about being the creator, right? Made in his image. You guys with me on this, all right? Some of you guys are following me, okay? You're made in his image, right? So there's something amazing about creating, and that doesn't happen from duplicating, all right? And I will tell you that one of the most powerful characteristics of being a giant is understanding that that vision and then being able to create something out of nothing, being able to take an idea, right? And then taking that idea and becomes this best-selling book. It becomes a international movement. It becomes a coaching, a consulting program. Like, can you think about that for a minute? How powerful is that? So a giant, they make big moves. And those big moves are based on their vision, which is allows them to create, okay? And they're made in, you made in his image, so it makes perfect sense to me. Number three, okay? Um, the third characteristic of a giant, is this supporting you guys? And if you haven't shared yet on Twitter, on Facebook, and of course on Periscope, please do, um, because I'm going to break this all the way down today, all right? Um, one second, okay? Um, three, number three, number three. Giants, they make noise, okay? Thank you so much. Giants make noise. And they make noise without trying. So I want to talk about that for a minute. So if you're a giant and you have the characteristics of a giant, likely you are making noise in your life with what you do, with your results, the transformation you provide. You know what I mean? You just show up in the room and things happen, okay? Naturally. So the fact of the matter is you are a giant. You can't help but make noise. And that, to me, is always a distingu distinguishable factor between a giant and non-giants, uh, uh, right? So the fact of the matter is that non-giants have to make noise, right? Like, the, like we just saw right now, all right? So when you're a non-giant, right, you have to make noise to be heard. But when you are a giant, Right. You you make noise just because of who you are. That means that you walk into a room. A lot of you guys have seen this. You walk into a room and when you walk into the room, you weren't even trying to do anything amazing. But amazing things happen. Why? Because you are a giant and you're undeniable. Your talent, your grace, your you know, your presence, your your knowledge and the fact that you're undeniable. And that's what being a giant looks like. And if that's been happening to you over and over and over again, the fact of the matter is that that will really support you in understanding that giants make noise. And they make noise without even trying. Like they make noise and you're not even trying to make noise. The fact of the matter is that you can't help it. You can't help it. It's a calling that's on your life. And because of it, you just were doing what you were doing. You were just being you. And as a result of you just being you, great things started to happen. People started to notice you. Opportunities just were dropped in your lap. And you're like, wow, what is that? And when people say that favor isn't fair, it's true. It is literally because giants make noise. And because they make noise, meaning their life makes noise, because of their talent makes noise, because their authentic skills make noise, because of their gifts make noise, the reality is that your gifts will always make room for you. That's why favor is happening is because you are a giant. And maybe you've never thought of it this way, but I want you to think of it this way. It's fact, it's fact of the matter. And then conversely, you know you're not a giant if you've got to raise the roof to be seen, to be heard. Because giants don't really have to do that. Everybody sees them anyway. They see your talent. You don't have to do anything special to be seen or heard. Fact of the matter is people are calling you out because of who you are. All right. You don't have to, you don't have to use a noisemaker, right, for people to see you. All right. Number four. Okay. Number four. Giants are misunderstood until you know them, right? Thank you, honey. A giant's presence alone speaks volumes. Isn't that, Jewel, like, isn't that amazing? Like, thinking about it, the giant's presence alone, right? Think about it, 
Okay, it's just, it's flat true. And maybe you've not thought about it this way, but it really is the case. You know, that's why people say, hey, favor's not fair. Well, it's because if you're dealing with a giant, they already make noise. And the way they make noise is their talent, their skills, you know, they're just being themselves. They're just breathing. But as a result of them breathing, they breathe differently. All right, that's the reality of what that looks like, okay? All right, number four, all right? Giants are misunderstood until you get to know them. Once you think about giants that you've thought about in, you know, in your, um, in these fair, childhood fairy tale books, right? Giants are misunderstood until you get to know them. Like we think they're, they're mean. We think that they're ugly. You know what I mean? We think that they might be violent, all these things. In the history of giants, right? We've always thought that Giants were bad, but the fact of the matter is that giants are often misunderstood until you get to know them. And what does that look like? That's a characteristic of a giant. That means that likely somebody that's working hard on something and nobody understands why they're working on what they're working on, or maybe it's somebody that, you know what I mean, that they think out of the box. I remember seeing something recently about the, um, I love him, Bruno Mars. And he was saying how when he first showed up in Hollywood, people were saying that he's a giant, right? Clearly a giant. We all know this, okay? Um, people were saying to him about him that, you know, you're really not going to be great and talented here. People are not going to want you because they don't know what you are. They don't know if you're black. They don't know if you're white. You're kind of short. All of these things, okay? So he was misunderstood, even though he had all of this talent, you know, and all of these things. And it's interesting if you think about if you think about most stars, I think about Oprah Winfrey because Oprah did a portion of her media here in Baltimore on one of the local news stations. She was misunderstood. She's exceptionally talented, right? Was exceptionally talented, right? And think about it. She was misunderstood. And I think each of us can think about someone great, a great entrepreneur that you know, a great person that has gone down in history and that people thought they were crazy. You think about the Wright brothers, right? They were misunderstood. These guys are giants. They invent you know, an airplane. You can imagine what people were saying about them. You know, like no one's flying in the sky and they are going to create a bird that's going to fly in the sky. You already know that people were thinking that they were cuckoo, right? So the fact of the thing, the fact of the matter is one of the characteristics of being a giant is that giants are often misunderstood. Sometimes until you get to know them and other times until you realize what they really see, what their vision is. And so I want to say that to those of you who can't answer that question, how? So sometimes the biggest conflict that giants have is that when they just do what they do, they can't always answer how they know to do these things or because it's their skill, it's what your gifts are. And so sometimes when you're trying to explain to other people the things that you see and they don't see that, it's easy to lose faith in what you're doing right? Because you're not going to get any validation from anyone else because it's a gift that you've been given to give to the world. It's one of the things that I had to learn. I remember the exact same people who didn't understand what I was doing as it relates to mom coaching years ago. You know what I mean? They like thought it didn't make any sense. And now I look at this movement that's literally been all around the world that's, you know, I've made significant money doing exactly what I love to do. I've been able to do work that's really been able to be a higher expression of myself, but I was misunderstood, you know? And now introducing the concept is so much easier for people to understand, but people catch up over time and they'll catch up with you too, even if you can't explain it. If you haven't shared yet on Twitter, on Facebook, on Periscope, please do. Number five, okay? Um, giants are seen, okay? They can't be ignored. Okay, so the thing you got to understand about being a giant is that you can't ignore a giant. Okay, um, and it's really important to understand that about yourself, that even if you don't want to own what you have, thing is, you can't hide what you have. All right, because you are a giant. So when you're talented and you're gifted and you're smart, you can't be ignored. And, and I think that that's why it's so important to own your gifts. That's why it's so important to own your bigness. That's why it's so important to acknowledge the, 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 the blessings that are inside of you, the God-given talent, the divinity that's, you know, that allows your, your passion to flow through you. Fact of the matter is, giants cannot be ignored. Think about a giant, right? 
Think about somebody that's amazing. Even when they're not trying, they're out there playing baseball, hitting home run after home run after home run. What If they didn't want to be seen, they cannot not be seen because of their talent, because of their skill, because of their ability, because of their background, because of their gifts. And is that you, all right? And that might lead you to say at times, you know, everywhere I go, I wasn't even trying. I was just, you know, I was just in, I was shopping in the mall and people just started to ask me dot, 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 right? Maybe you've had experiences like that where people are always drawn to you, right? And asking you about the things that you already know. And you're wondering in your mind, like, how do they know that? That's because a giant cannot be ignored, all right? It's one of the characteristics of a giant. Um, it's just simple as that. My husband and I, we laugh about it all the time because we will sometimes we'll meet up and for dinner and like he would have arrived before me and then I get there and then he's like, what happened? Like when well, I get to dinner with him and all kinds of things start to change. People, the service starts to change. What's being asked starts to change. And the fact of the matter is I'm not doing anything. I'm not even requesting anything. It's just that when you are a giant, the fact that you can't be you can't be ignored. It's a joke. It's like one of our jokes all the time. My husband's like, so what made them bring you this before they brought me that? Right? And we like laugh about it all the time. I said, I don't even know because I didn't I didn't know what's gonna happen. But the thing is, I'm using this example that is a very simple example, but the fact of the matter is it's what happens to giants. Like you could just be walking and doing whatever you want. And I'm not saying that to say that um that uh, for other people that they're not giants, because my husband's certainly a giant. I don't mean that. I'm talking about when you're in your element and you just show up and play, things are going to happen for you because you can't be ignored because you are a giant. And giants are seen when they show up, whether they're trying to or not. All right. And that's why I would say the characteristics of a giant, you don't have to do anything to be a giant. Like you don't have to put on to be a giant. You don't have to scream loud to be a giant. You don't have to you don't have to do any of that because you already are a giant. Okay? That's the thing you got to know. Being a giant is about owning your bigness and trusting that. I hope this is supporting you guys. You guys getting value? All right? Are you getting value if you're like I'm getting this? Just right. I'm getting this me, all right? Number 6, right? Um Okay. Um the a giant, a characteristic of a giant is that the giant is most successful when they honor their strength and their power, okay? So the thing is, if you're a giant, thank you. If you're a giant, I'm glad you guys are getting that. If you're a giant and it's like being strong, right? And and not understanding your power, like you have a lot of ability to hold up the world. Think about it. Okay, you're a giant, right? You can hold up the world with what you know how to do. You can change the world with what you know how to do. But one of your responsibilities as a giant, a characteristic, is you got to honor that strength and that power. And that is a characteristic of a true giant. So I want to break that down for you for a minute. And that means for those of you who are, you're great at what you do, you're talented at what you do, but you hold back. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you could do more. You know it. Okay, but you hold back and you hold back because you weren't even trying to do the thing you were doing and you already are standing above the crowd, right? And you already know that if you really try, what would happen? But one of the things I'm going to tell you is that, you know, a giant isn't afraid of their gifts and a giant is not afraid of their power. All right. And the fact of the matter is that you have an ability to be able to fully serve so many people that need what you have. But if you only because you are a giant, you recognize you're a giant and you're afraid of your power, you're like afraid, like, oh, man, if I do this, this is going to take me over here. You already know that where you are is comfortable, but you know you haven't revved your engine yet. Right. You know that you're not playing full out. You know that you're not giving it everything you have, but I will tell you that a giant, a characteristic of a true giant is that they stop worrying about what other people think. They stop worrying about taking up room. They stop worrying about feeling like they're being showy. They're just being themselves and they're going to bring their gifts 100% of who they are so that they can serve the world because they can serve more people. All right. And if this is you, you've been holding back 
you know, I want to call you out. Uh, if you are holding back, because in the truest sense, you're like, man, I'm just, I'm like at 25% and people are already, right? And, uh, and people are already fired up and excited about what you got going on. You know that there's 75% more. You know what I'm saying? It's time. A giant really does um, honor that part of themselves. A giant is able to receive their gifts. A giant is able to receive and honor that power. And um, and in order for you to truly be able to serve people around the world and truly hold up, hold up the world, a giant, a giant has to honor that strength and power. Otherwise, you know, and it's, it's a tad irresponsible if you think about it, right? Imagine being strong and not honoring that you are strong. That means that the things that you are supposed to lift up, hold up, that you aren't holding your weight in the world, right? And we need you to do this. It's really important. All right, number seven. All right, a giant, right, um, understands one of the characteristics of a giant is that the giant understands that they are different, okay, um, that they're not the same. And, and and this is important to understand, like maybe in your world you've been trying to, maybe you've been socialized to fit in, right? And to, to be like everybody else. But one of the things you gotta understand about being a giant is that what makes you a giant is the fact that, you know, you are different. And because you are different and you are scarce and what makes you scarce makes you valuable, you know? and. It's just simple as that. So that's why it's so important, like I just mentioned, to honor your strength and your power because a giant is different. You know, what a giant can do in a situation, it's like what they think about, what they know, okay? We're all relying on you to show up 100% with the things that make you different because it's what serves everybody else. Like in the world, we're like waiting for you, all right? And if you've been holding back as it relates to that, I just want to say that the things that make you exceptional, the things that make you different, the journey that you've had, those are the things that make you incredibly value, okay? And then number eight, okay? Um, oh gosh, and number eight, number eight. Giants, one of the characteristics of a giant is that they ignore the tiny. Uh-oh, okay, let me just explain this. All right, one of the things you got to understand about being a giant is that if you truly are a giant, you're going to ignore the things that are tiny, okay? You're going to ignore the things that are small. You're going to ignore the things that are small-minded. You're going to ignore the things that don't add value. You're going to ignore the things that take you off your path. You're going to ignore the things that are distractions. If you are <clears throat> a giant, okay, one of the characteristics of being a giant is knowing that you've got a purpose and a calling in your life that's great. And if you have a purpose and a calling in your life that's great, you cannot get yourself caught up, wrapped up, dealing with, looking at, talking to, you know what I'm saying? Things that are tiny, that are small. And um, it's really important because if you want to own and honor your purpose, you're not going that way, right? You know what I'm saying? You're not going that way. Um, and I think that so many people forget this. Um, and it is one of the things that I take very seriously about protecting in my life, like who I'm in association with. Really important to me. This is really important, right? It's an exchange of energy, right? It's an exchange of wisdom. It's an exchange of love, okay? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's an exchange of vision. Um, and the fact of the matter is you too, right? Um, and the fact of the matter is that one of the things that I learned over the years is that you just have to ignore the tiny, all right? Um, and that you have to focus your eyes on the things that are big, right? The things that are purposeful, the things that are good, the things that represent what love looks like, because love is big, okay? And hate is small, all right? And um, um, it's really important to understand that um, as it relates to whatever it is. And um, mindset is so important. Part of being a giant, characteristic of being a great giant is understanding you got to ignore the tiny. And that means that, you know, the small things, those small whispers that tell you you're not who you need to be, um, those people in your world who want to disqualify your world, it's tiny. It's irrelevant. It doesn't exist, okay? It's really important and you're not going that way. And I wanted just to break down today the eight 
characteristics of a giant. Did you guys get value? All right. Did you get value or did you get value? All right. Number one, let me quickly recap. Number one, that giants enjoy the company of, of other giants. You guys know how I feel about that. If you are truly a giant, then you can hang out with other giants and feel good about it. You're not feeling like you need to get a running start. You're not feeling like you need to compete. You're a giant. What do you need to do that for, right? You just show up like a giant, right? And you own your bigness, right? You own your greatness. The second thing is that you understand the characteristics, characteristics of a giant is that they've got a big goals and big vision, and they make big moves. Think about giants, all right? They make big moves, not small moves, big moves. The third characteristic of a giant is that a giant, you know what? They make noise without trying, and, you know, they can't help it. And the fact of the matter is because you showed up, everybody's raising the roof because of what you can do, who you are, your presence, how you show up, what you know, your investments, all of that. So that's what that's meant when people are calling you across the room and you just walked in the room. You're like, what happened? Did I say something? I don't know. All right. It's because you are a giant. Number four, giants are often misunderstood because before you get to know them, and part of it is because of this, because people aren't used to understanding the giant or being around a giant or thinking like giants. Like giants do things that shake up the world, like, you know, create airplanes and no one's, you know, knows how in the world this is going to work. So you got to understand that the things that you're bringing to the world, right, are different. All right. And initially, not everybody's going to welcome what you're bringing to the world, but eventually they will. OK, number five, giants can't be ignored. They are always seen. You got to understand that about yourself and stop hiding. It won't work. OK, characteristics of a giant is that you can't be ignored. OK, it's impossible. You are a giant. OK, number six, giants honor their strength and their power in order for you to be a giant. You got to own that thing. You know what I mean? You got to know what you're good at. You got to be able to sit in what you're good at. Okay. Because it's, it works for your good. Okay. Um, and number seven, a giant. Okay. Um, you understand that you're different. Okay. You understand because you're different. You're scarce because you're scarce. You're valuable. Really, really important. And number eight, that giants ignore the tiny, like a giant doesn't see an ant. Okay. Like at all. Okay, you got to understand, they're not really trying to be mean to the ant, right? But they just don't see the ant. Okay, you got to understand that. And that's how giants operate in, in their world, right? As it relates to things that don't serve them, people that don't serve them, ideas that aren't meant for them, all of that. Okay, if you're a giant, one of the characteristics of a giant, you don't have time for small. You got you have time for love. Okay, and loving what you're doing, loving how you're doing it, you know, that's what you have time for. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, did this support you guys? If you haven't shared yet on Twitter, on Facebook, and of course on Periscope, please do. I'm Mia Redrick, I'm the mom strategist. I support clients with life and business success. You can always check me out at miaredrick.com at miaredrick.com, right? Love this content, Mia. Giants have boss mentalities and will always leave their mark. I appreciate it. Are there any other ahas or any other comments? What was one thing that you got as a result of hearing this scope tonight? Like what was one aha that you got? Thank you so much, Joel, um, that you got as a result of, of hearing this tonight. Uh, wow, this scope is brilliant. Thank you, appreciate it. Colleen, are there any other ahas, right? Any other takeaways as a result of being here today? Um, and my only goal was to support you in understanding the characteristics of giants. Um, Lady Willis, she writes, giants ignore the tiny. Absolutely. Your ahas, you've, your value is in being different, right? Isn't that amazing? Right. Like giants, you know what I mean? They ignore the tiny, right? And they... They, they understand that what makes you scarce is what makes you valuable. That's, that's the thing. That's what separates a giant from everybody else. Like everybody else is like, you did that and I should do that too. But a giant's like, they just, they show you how to do it. How about that? All right. And that's what giants do. 
All right. And it takes confidence to be able to do that. It takes belief in yourself. It takes knowing who you are to be able to understand that your creativity is is your divine gift. Like literally your, your ability to create, you're made in his image, right? And God is a creator. That's how I see it. Anyway, um, are there any other ahas? Are there any other ahas um, or any other takeaways that you guys got as a result of being here today? I want to thank you for your time today. If you haven't shared on Twitter or Facebook on Periscope, please do. Um, giants don't see small. They're too high up to see see so low. You know, T.D. Jakes talked about this. I can't, I'm going to mess up the book. He wrote a book and he was talking about, was it the giraffe? And the giraffe can't, basically, if the giraffe tries to, I can't remember what it was, like more or less if the giraffe takes his neck down to the ground and that's not where it's supposed to be, it'll like, the giraffe will pass out, right? Because that's the giraffe is supposed to eat from the high trees. Okay, Instincts is the name of the book. That's exactly it. And he was saying how the giraffe is supposed to eat from the tall trees, okay? And he's not supposed to be down there, you know what I'm saying, eating in the grass because if he stays down there too long, he'll just pass out because it's, he's not, he's a giant, okay? You gotta understand that about yourself. So the thing is, you gotta ignore the tiny, okay? Yeah, you gotta ignore the tiny. And uh, and the insignificant and the things that don't support you or serve you, right? It's so important. I can't remember the other animal that he was talking about, but more or less, he was just saying, look, that's why giraffes have to eat up from tall trees, okay? And it's so, so, so powerful. I read that a while ago. I can't remember the other animal. So, um, but I'm glad that you guys got value today. It was a great scope and you know, I hope that you will act on it. For those of you, I just want to tell you really quickly who are coming to my retreat. Colleen, I know that you're coming November 10th through 12th. Or for those of you who maybe have never heard about it, um, I'm hosting a retreat um, at another preacher. Pre okay. Um, a um, The time for my retreat is November 10th through 12th um, in Baltimore, Maryland. November 10th through 12th in Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. And um, I'm so excited about it. Giants only have time for love. Love is huge. Look, I'm telling you, love is something. And I tell you what love is. Love is not hate. Okay. And you know what I mean? Love is love. Love is not hate. Okay. It's not. All right. And God is love. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. So anything other than that is not of God. That's how I look at it. Okay. So the retreat is all about owning your bigness. That's right, Brandon. It's all about owning your bigness. And it's a three-day immersive experience for those of you who've been ready. You're ready to set up 2018. You're ready to play full out. You want to be in association with other people who are, in fact, giants, who um, you enjoy being in the company of other people who own their bigness, who own their greatness, um, and who are sharing how they've been able to take what they know how to do, package their gifts, and to be able to share the world with, share, share their gifts with the world and to be able to monetize the brand of themselves. And I'm so excited about this weekend. It's going to be a little Zumba and belly dancing and yoga um, throughout the weekend. But also we have such a great lineup for people who really are looking for their next level. And you just have decided that you're not going to go into 2018, you know what I mean, the same as this year. And maybe you had a great year. I'm sure you had a great year, but the fact that you're like, there's more for me and you're ready to get it and you want to know how to get it. So um, I would encourage you to visit timeformom-meretreat.com, timeformom-meretreat.com, um, timeformom, M-O-M-meretreat.com. Phenomenal event. This is our fifth year hosting the event. It always sells out. So exciting. And um, I can't wait to see you if you're... you're um, if you're a giant, you know, if you're a giant, it is an event for giants. It is not an event for you if you are tiny. And I will just say, because we play full out and we're looking for people when they come ready, they're looking to, they're, like the things that they see, right? That vision that they have, they believe they can get it. And they just want strategy on how to be able to get those things. So I'm excited about that. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Have a great and amazing day. Talk to you in the morning. Bye.